Good afternoon, my dear students of corporate accounting. Uh, in today's lecture, we will try to revise the holding company. This is holding company, very simple chapter in regular classes. I taught you everything about the holding company. But right now in this lecture, within few next minutes, you will learn everything about the holding in revision sense. Correct. Now let us move then ahead to the holding. My dear students, holding means what? In uh, If you try to find the meaning, word to word meaning of holding, then you will understand that holding means controlling. Here you are controlling what? In the account sense, you are controlling the another company's account or you are just controlling that company to earn the profit. Controlling that means what? You becomes owner of another company means and then with this you increase your wealth. Okay you earn the profit. Then my dear students, you will find so many ways to earn the proper profit to increase the property. Correct. Why holding only? What is this? This is a new way. Yes, this is new and simple way we will say. Now, if I say you to form a company, then you have to do too much endeavor to form a company, isn't it? That means from name, then purchasing the assets, machineries, then HR whole department employing the people and then uh, from them uh, you must with their help you must produce the goods and then sell again that product in the market then brand value profitability so many things are involved from the formation till what earning the profit and there is getting stability in the market. But my dear students this is a shortcut way we will say. In holding what you can do, you know you must have learned in Companies Act 2013 that majority rules, majority rules is what it mean by major, majority, majority of shareholder can take the decisions and their decisions are binding on small group of holders, uh, let it be small their powers and will not in a bigger sense what we will understand here that majority can rule uh, in company. If majority rules, that means what? And when majority can rules? And if majority rules, then what to do in accounting? Yes, in accounting, we have accounting standard 21. And if you are running the company, these standards are compulsory, you know. And accounting standard 21 says that if you are controlling another company, then prepare your balance sheet plus prepare consolidated balance sheet. Now, preparation of balance sheet, normal balance sheet, you know, for that we pass the entries, ledger, and whole cycle is there. Yes, you know that cycle. I will not teach you that balance sheet. And then in a subsidiary, another company will find their balance sheet, their rules and regulation, they can also prepare. But what then, what is this consolidation? Consolidated balance sheet in simply means what? Just combination of two, combinations of two balance sheets. Now, here, we have a limited let us say a limited balance sheet and then after that we also have here b limited balance sheet. Now, we will add a's balance sheet and b's balance sheet yes and then you will get a b's balance sheet. Now, a b's balance sheet is what consolidated balance sheet. Then how to add whether rules are there or not to add that we will going to see in this video which rules are there yes now add that does not mean just add correct now like if you take the example of what we will say um, example of have you heard the burfi sweet correct and then uh, stones can you add sweet in stone and then if you have 10 kilos of pedas let us say and uh, 50 kilos of stones if I ask you how much is the total uh, of pedas, you cannot add peda in stone or stone in peda like that, correct? Nah? You have to add pedas in pedas and stones in stones, correct? Here, here also similarly, you will find building, you will find furniture, cash and other assets and in a subsidiary also you will find so many assets. Now, if anyone say, says to add one balance sheet in another, then in that we will going to add building in building, 
furniture in furniture and then cash in cash is this is simple this consolidation is just addition line by line addition you will find in a consolidation now line by line addition then why you are teaching we you will say that we have already learned the addition in the first standard only correct and then up to fourth we know uh, addition of what anything any number we can add in any numbers correct this you know then why you are teaching uh, in this chapter addition is there correct but while adding one balance sheet and another balance sheet we have to follow some rules and regulations and those rules and regulation given in the accounting standard as well as here in our syllabus then let's move ahead to all those rules and regulations okay from our exam point of view now let's move ahead from our exam point of view uh, all these slides the pictures i have and then some theory also here on this page i have are not important from exam but what my dear students uh, we'll try to understand within two minutes otherwise you will say that you have directly started the problems correct now and then uh, uh, you will not find any interest in consolidation if you get the interest then only you can remember the things to create your interest i am showing you some pictures now correct now here in holding holding that means what one here one hand is controlling the companies that means you behind the hand you are there and then you are taking the decisions of green limited and yellow limited you are saying them that you have to sell to us only at this price then produce only this much material then then uh, you cannot sell the material in this region like this decisions you can take the company correct but the control uh, of various forms we will find in actual practice then for which type of a control consolidation is compulsory this is the question correct now generally you will find three types in the control now first word control by purchasing the shares of the subsidiary as i said majority rules if you purchase more than 50 percent shares in the subsidiary then you can control the subsidiary here now focus on the words more than 50 percent that doesn't mean only 50 percent 50.1 percent then you becomes the major and then you can take the decisions yes you will get the more voting and then that decision will become binding on the company correct if you purchase more than 50 percent share this is the first rule remember if you satisfy this rule then as 21 comes into picture and then after coming you have to add one balance sheet in another balance sheet correct adding procedure that accounting procedure we will see later on correct now uh, understood the first rule then after that my dear students we have second rule what is that second rule when we have to add without purchasing share also can i control yes you can control how by controlling the composition of a board of director you are the boss of that area well, let's take the some political parties example leader example political leader he is controlling the companies of that area correct and then other ways are also there to control the composition of board we will not going into that but for just to say uh, uh, for the sake of understand this second rule uh, we have taken the example of a leader and all instead of purchasing you are controlling we are for you are forcing them to take decision decisions as per your directions and then then they are also following if this is the case then as 21 comes into picture and then you have to do the consolidation and then third rule third rule is very simple rule abc rule in class also i have given you example of a teacher and uh, her student once teacher said to all the students that can you give me example where 
A is related to B and B is related to C that means naturally A relates to C. Can you give me example of this theorem? One student said yes, I will give you example, what is the problem? Okay. You love me, I love your daughter, correct, this is the example. That means you know A is having relationship with C, correct. Uh, if this is the case, then AS21 falls into picture and you require to do the consolidation. Then move ahead. Now, uh, in India, do we have consolidation examples? Yes, my dear students, we have so many consolidated consolidation examples, so many consolidated companies, Correct. so many holding companies and subsidiary companies in India you will find. Now, the famous companies examples, yes, take one of the uh, largest group and then famous group of India, that company's example. Now, ha have you heard the Tata, Tata group, this is Tata group. In Tata group, you will find so many companies, correct, and Tata, that group is controlling these companies, okay. Some companies in that group are using the name of Tata with their name and some subsidiaries does not use the name of Tata. Correct. You will find another group, this Mahindra group, then you will find Reliance group. There are so many subsidiaries you will find. Correct. Uh, this meaning I clarified. Now, in Tata, with the Tata label, you will find Tata Consultancy, you will find Tata Sky. Correct. Then after that, you will find Tata Docomo. All they are using what? The Tata's logo or name. And then some without, these are Tata's companies, Tata subsidiaries, but they are not using Tata's name, Titan, correct. Then Tanishk, Oltas, Yataj, correct. Uh, then uh, why to do the consolidation? This is the question. Instead of doing consolidation, just frame the company, form the company. What is the problem? This is in a company formation. We will say that, sir, you are giving us uh, the shortcut, but for this we have or also instead of, yes, just the purchasing the shares and controlling company, we will form our own company. But my dear students, so much endeavor required to form a company just to give the name to company, uh, days and days will go in, correct. You have to think so much and then after that framing memorandum, article, issuing the shares in market, purchasing the fixed assets, whole cycle you will find after purchasing fixed asset, then next what the uh, uh, project and then installation and then trial runs, appointment so many employees you require, workers also require and then playing with machines is easy, let us say, but playing with the people and then with this productivity and then sale and then you will get the profit. You will say that with this money, I have come to enjoy, but you are, yes, instead of giving ways, so many ways or telling us so many ways that how to enjoy, you are just employing. This money is not giving us the enjoyment, this is just giving the hankering to us. Therefore, we have or for this in Companies Act, they have given you the shortcut. What is that shortcut? Instead of yes, uh, going into whole cycle of formation and getting profitability, profit on your investment, just do one thing, purchase the company, that company will run uh, their business and you run your own business. Correct. And then by purchasing the shares, uh, shareholdings in that company, you will get proportionate profit also from that company. This is the easy way. Then after that, you will get the advantage of a large capital. Now, your own capital plus that company's capital and then so much power, economic power you will get yes, with this self of consolidation. Then after that, you can avoid the co competition. Why to fight? come together and then sell the goods, correct. Now, example, telecom companies, why to fight? 
you are saying recharge at 650 another is saying recharge at what uh, 625 then you are saying recharge at i will give you recharge at 600 then that company will say i will give you at 575 then oh, fighting you will only lose therefore instead of fighting come together and then sell your product sell the recharge three months recharge of the 700 who will go who is now there in the market you only and then you know customers are now habitual with your product therefore sell at your rate correct and then after that you will get the large scale operation economic economy of large scale operation economy of large scale means what by coming together you will get the benefit of synergy that means instead of purchasing goods instead of just only one purchase department for your company now you can make a centralized purchasing department centralized purchasing they will take into account not only your requirement but also other units requirement and then by purchasing bulk quantities bulk quantity from open market you will get what the discount trade discount cash discount so many discounts you will get you can bargain also your bargaining power increases and then instead of just utilizing machineries for 80 percent now by coming together you can utilize for more than 100 percent also yes. by producing more the ca cost goes down you know more production lesser cost this formula you know you must have learned this in economic uh, sorry in costing economy in economics also that is there then after that you can maintain the secrecy now whole uh, major um, majority of data is with what uh, in one hand correct now you can take the centralized decisions uh, workers will not will not come to know you about your formulas secret uh, about uh, secret documents etc correct and then very important you can avoid your risk how you can avoid your risk now let's take the example first example you have found the company and vice versa you have purchased the company you are only what user of information first hand information uh, will come in your hand only you will come to know when that subsidiary uh, will close or will go down what problems of subsidiaries correct you all will come to know before the investor other investor therefore what you are doing then you are selling mm, that subsidiary if subsidiary is not having now potential feature then what you are doing you are selling your investment and then like this you can put out your fit from the market okay uh, you can reduce your shareholding pattern and like that you can reduce your losses also but if you form the company you cannot sell your yes holding you are the promoter correct people will understand that you are selling your share you are closing your company correct now here uh, and then uh, if you are operating in what let's say in one sector uh, steel sector and then steel uh, industry is facing some problem and because of that so many losses in steel and only you are running in steel you also will be affected by those losses but if you are not just in steel you are also in food now steel is what uh, in losses but food in from food you will get the profit you can set off your losses steel's losses steel industry's losses with food industry's profit and then because of set off you can sustain in the market otherwise if you would have just doing the business in steel then you could have to close your company also now in this you can protect yourself and then disadvantages are also there like over capitalization misuse of power and all then exploitation now you can read actually over capitalization your own capital plus subsidiaries capital 
if share capital increases then cost also increases you have to pay to shareholders correct now over capitalization if not required that much capital is not required and you are having that capital correct then that is shared the profit is also shared uh, over capitalization so many disadvantages of over capitalization so you have you know then misuse of power uh, because of concentration of power in one hand only with one group only they can exploit the market then then manipulation uh, happens you know and then after that concentration of economic power then what uh, this promotes the monopolies etc correct now my dear students what we'll do we'll now move ahead towards our accounting part you all are the accountant therefore this theory required now understood or not in this theory you will understand that it's more simple to purchase the holding share holding in another company than form forming a company correct to increase your property this is what we will say this is a shortcut or uh, this is subway correct now we will use that shortcut now to increase our property yes we will make dusk abyss just by purchasing a company correct now then after purchasing consolidation you require to do in this chapter in exam also uh, no need to identify because they will give you problem of a consolidation if conditions are not satisfied then no need to do consolidation and then if no consolidation then how examiner can give you marks of a consolidation not possible in exam no need to check whether conditions are satisfying or not that will satisfy and then after that in exam because of you have satisfied the conditions you require to do the consolidation of uh, 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 as per ES 21 how to do that consolidation as per ES 21 we will see right now here in our next session next uh, part ok in regular classes I generally give first simple problem to you and in that we orally uh, do the consolidation correct now, we try to understand how orally add one asset in another asset and then how to prepare consolidated balance sheet orally correct there we have understood already but here instead of wasting time in that straight away we will learn how to do the consolidation directly for the problem which is there on the screen and with that we will try to learn consolidation principles uh, principles with this i will show these principles in the problem correct now the first principle here that principle is saying us to ignore what investment in or uh, investment by holding in subsidiary and share capital of subsidiary now my dear students before starting first try to understand what is our target our target is to make consolidated balance sheet consolidated balance sheet what means combined balance sheet combined balance sheet of a holding and combined balance sheet of a subsidiary that means i have already told you for 10 minutes before you are having a's balance sheet you are having b in consolidated balance sheet in we are preparing a b's balance sheet a b's balance sheet correct now how to prepare the preparation is very simple line by line addition principle with the help of line by line addition principle and then not only line by line addition but with that you require to follow rules now rules are here i try to list all the rules here and then as per that we have first rule what first rule is saying first rule is saying us to ignore what ignore your investment you you are you means you as a holding your investment in a subsidiary and subsidiary share capital let me show where you will get that in actual problem understood what you require to do first while doing consolidation that means while adding line doing line by line addition building in building and other assets in other asset first rule is saying ignore ignore that means yeah chhod do usko chhod do add mat karo correct na 
you will say how now you are following you are living in india that means all the rules which are there in india you are binding for that you cannot say that though red signal is there i will drive you move ahead huh? no you have to stop at that time at that particular place correct because we are binding with uh, rules which are there in india okay now similarly if you are doing business in india all the rules which are there related to business in india you must obey with now first rule ignore that rule is saying in consolidation es21 ignore investment holdings investment we'll say that what you are saying uh one second uh where is the pen they are saying ignore holding companies investment in subsidiary companies holding company now if you read this problem then you will understand that s is your holding and w is your subsidiary instead of h i will say here s and then this is what w is your subsidiary correct now what they are saying holdings investment in subsidiary that means h investment in w or s s now what will remove these names and then we'll keep the this company's name as h and s only h limited's investment in s limited now h limited investment investment generally you will find on what asset side of balance sheet now asset side of balance sheet asset side this is asset side of balance sheet and in this balance sheet you will find investment in shares of what s limited investment in a shares of s limited subsidiary limited now how much you are invested you are invested 1 lakh 10 thousand rupees yes you are invested what they are saying ignore holding companies investment ignore then don't consider we'll scratch it out ignore ignore to ignore and share capital of a subsidiary company share capital here we have subsidiary s limited and then that subsidiary share capital subsidiary is full yes full subsidiary share capital yes ignore in consolidated balance sheet remove don't add what the 60000 as well as don't consider in addition this 1 lakh 10000 correct in line by line addition that means while adding investment in investment don't consider 1 lakh 10000 in h limited we have 1 lakh 10000 in s limited nothing is there in investment that means here don't consider 1 lakh 10 and here we have dash that means zero zero plus zero zero like that understood line by line addition and in a share capital what i said in line by line addition don't consider 60000 that means zero and then in line by share cap share capital in share capital 2 lakhs plus zero that means you will get 2 lakhs only understood the first rule it's very simple let it be any balance sheet of holding as well as subsidiary in a consolidated balance sheet what ignore holdings investment in a subsidiary and total subsidiary share capital understood the first rule if you follow this rule in exam then you will get the marks of this rule correct one or two marks just by ignoring these two figures this is simple then second now what is our second rule correct now second rule ignore inter companies owing inter companies owing owing that means what देना करेक्ट ना मुझे इसको पचास हजार रुपए देना है आई ओ फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टू हिम करेक्ट उसको देना है तो वो बोल रहे हैं कि जो जो आपका देना रहेगा सब्सिडरी को या सब्सिडरी से आपको कुछ लेना रहेगा वो इग्नोर करते जाओ वो इग्नोर करो यानी यू विल फाइंड सेम एटम ऑन द एसिड साइड एज वेल एज ऑन द लाइबिलिटी साइड if you show same atom on both sides of balance sheet that means what you are doing you are not presenting correct picture to shareholders you are just inflating assets of company and what liabilities of company therefore don't inflate show the real picture that may example uh, loan given no loan that uh, difficult simple example bills receivable bills payable Okay. 
you have drawn the bill on subsidiary. The bill is there on the asset side and in a subsidiary you will find same bill on the liability side of the subsidiary. Holdings bills receivable, now here subsidiaries bills payable that means that, that is there on both sides of balance sheet in consolidation, consolidation uh, and um, accounting standard as per that standard they are saying us to ignore, ignore that means this bills receivable if they are in bills payable then you have to ignore, how much to ignore, yes whatever is the bills receivable from subsidiary that you must ignore, bills receivable you, you are running a company correct, here subsidiary is bills receivable and then holdings bills payable given but uh, vice versa also you can get in actual practice, correct. How much to ignore this is the question, you have to ignore whatever bills receivable uh, of a subsidiary is there in your books of accounts, correct. Uh, because you are running a company, you will find bills receivable from subsidiary as well as bills receivable from outsiders, we are not concerned with the outsiders, we are concerned with only holding and subsidiary, whatever bills receivable holding is having in subsidiary that you must ignore, whatever bills payable subsidiary having in holding you must ignore that, correct understood. Now uh, bills receivable, bills payable if you confused then take the another example loan given loan taken, if you give loan to subsidiary and also to other parties then you should ignore only loan given to subsidiary, correct. That means in your balance sheet on asset side you will find loan given to subsidiary dash 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 50,000 or and then after that loan given to outsiders 80,000 then uh, and in a subsidiary's balance sheet on the liability side loan taken from holding what we will say 50,000 and from others dash dash dash. We are concerned with that common part 50 and 50 outsiders we not at all considered correct with. Therefore, as per this rule you should ignore that common part intercompany owings 50,000 and then another famous example generally this example you will find in each and every problem. What is that example? Example of a debtors and creditors, debtors of subsidiary becomes the creditors of holding and uh, vice versa, creditors of a, uh, okay, you will understand then that much part you have to ignore intercompany owings. एक जो एसेट साइड में है वही आपको लायबिलिटी साइड में मिलता है तो उसको आपको क्या करना है इग्नोर करना पड़ेगा तो इधर देख लो इधर क्या है इस प्रॉब्लम में इंक्लूडेड बिल्स पेएबल ऑफ एस लिमिटेड बिल्स पेएबल ऑफ एस दैट मींस वी विल से होल्डिंग लिमिटेड रिप्रेजेंटेड 15000 इशूड इन फेवर ऑफ सब्सिडियरी लिमिटेड बिल्स पेएबल ऑफ होल्डिंग ऑफ रुपीस 15000 इशूड इन फेवर ऑफ सब्सिडियरी दैट मींस व्हाट दे आर सेइंग there is a relationship in between holding and subsidiary for rupees 15,000. That means 15,000 is common, they are saying. If 15,000 is common on both sides of balance sheet, then you must ignore 15,000 from both sides of balance sheet, correct or not? Then ignore it. Now, if ignore uh, first side, that means asset side, from asset side ignore 15,000 because 15 is common, 15 minus 15 ignore. And then after that from liability side also ignore 50,000, we have 20,000 on the liability side of a bills payable and because only 15 is common, ignore 15, do not ignore whole 20, okay. why you must be of outsiders. Understood this second principle, then third principle, it is very simple second and then third, oh ho, here in a consolidation you require to do consolidation if you purchase more than 50 percent shares more than 50 that means you can purchase 51 also and then still consolidation is mandatory then what about balance 49 percent who are they they all are the minority small people small share as compared to you they are small if you purchase 80 percent you become holding and another uh, uh, 20 percent shareholders becomes what minority minority shareholders here what to do with minority correct then third principle is saying 
shareholder must able to know you are holding as well as they must able to know they must able to know the minority shareholders minority small shareholders now their shareholding now check their shareholding what to do with their shareholding always write they are saying always write minority interest on the liability side of balance sheet this is a rule consolidation rule where to write minority small shareholder what to do how much to write correct where to write clarified clear write that on the liability side and then how much to write then you will naturally ask me write their share capital minority share capital plus minorities general reserve their share in total general reserve okay let's assume that 100 rupees total general reserve we are having and 20% shares with minority that means 20 rupees general reserve of a minority we are having in our books therefore in share capital adding general reserve that means adding their share in the general reserve okay their share capital in 60000 you will not find full 60000 80% purchased by holding therefore 20% 20% 12000 minorities share capital consider that here in calculating minority interest not full share capital their share in the share capital their share in general reserve their share in profit and loss and their share in the capital profit of the company correct if you add all you will get the minority interest and they are saying us to write minority interest on which side liability side of the balance sheet understood then my dear students we have a next rule the fourth rule any doubt in first three rules first what very simple investment of a holding in a subsidiary and subsidiary share capital ignore chhod do usko chhodo abhi gana uh, chalo second rule second rule what as per second rule they are saying owings intercompany owings usko chhod do fir wo jo bol rahe ki minority interest likho kidhar likho liability side mein likho fir uske baad mein consolidated profit and loss calculate karo consolidated yani yes consolidated yani एड किया हुआ कंबाइन किया हुआ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस करेक्ट कंसोलिडेटेड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस दैट मींस प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस ऑफ होल्डिंग प्लस प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम सब्सिडरी ऐड दैट एंड देन माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स व्हाट टू डू देन कॉस्ट ऑफ कंट्रोल डू द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑफ कंट्रोल करेक्ट वेयर टू राइट दिस प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस यू नो वी राइट प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस इन रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस देयरफॉर दिस आल्सो विल राइट इन रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस then cost of control what is cost of control ye apne jo company khareed liya hai na uska cost bhi aayega cost of control ye premium nahi milega sab kuch correct na aapko kya karna padega investment karna padega paise dene padenge paise uska capital 60% ya to 80% purchase karte ho to 80% ka cost rahega 80% ka cost let's say that 80000 rupees hai 80000 rupees cost hai and if that company is not selling subsidiary is not selling you 80% share holding for 80000 they are saying if you want to purchase purchase for 90 otherwise we will not sell our 80% holding for 80 we will say that i require i will purchase you are my lucky company if you come with me then only enjoyment otherwise no enjoyment we will say like that correct therefore though that company is asking 10 extra you are giving 10 10 extra correct what is that 10 that is cost of control correct okay. sometimes you will get positive cost of control sometimes you will get negative cost the cost is 80 sometimes you will going to give that company 90 correct okay. and then if you are giving more correct okay, amount why you are giving more because of goodwill of that company you are giving more amount what is that more that amount 90 minus your cost 80 sales price or the market value of investment minus what the paid off value of investment minus capital profit is equal to cost of control if that is positive say that as goodwill and if that is negative say that as capital reserve it's very simple 80 rupees ka cheez aapko 90 rupees mein milta hai yani ye kya aap log ka sale price ho gaya ये कॉस्ट प्राइस होगा एटी रुपीज का चीज यानी एटी इसका कॉस्ट है वो आपको 
यानी उसकी सेल्स प्राइस बन जाती है नाइन्टी देन इन दैट केस टेन इज वॉट गुडविल यू आर गिविंग एक्स्ट्रा अमाउंट ना देन दैट इज गुडविल एंड अस्सी रुपी की एटी रुपीज की कुछ चीज आपको फिफ्टी रुपीज में मिल जाती है तो हो गया आपका वो प्रॉफिट अस्सी रुपये कॉस्ट का गुड्स आपको मिल गया सिर्फ ओनली सेल्स प्राइस आपने खरीद लिया फिफ्टी रुपीज में दैट इज योअर प्रॉफिट दैट इज योअर प्रॉफिट विच प्रॉफिट कैपिटल प्रॉफिट कैपिटल प्रॉफिट एंड देन प्रॉफिट इज दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कैपिटल रिजर्व हाउ मच थर्टी रुपीज कैपिटल रिजर्व यू विल गेट हियर अंडरस्टूड दिस रूल कॉस्ट ऑफ कंट्रोल कैलकुलेशन वट डू वी डू वी डिडक्ट कॉस्ट प्राइस फ्रॉम सेल्स प्राइस कॉस्ट प्राइस फ्रॉम सेल्स ओके एज आई सेड डिडक्ट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट प्रॉफिट सेल्स प्राइस माइनस कॉस्ट प्राइस कॉस्ट प्राइस यू विल गेट द प्रॉफिट कैलकुलेशन इज वेरी सिंपल करेक्ट नाउ इफ दिस रूल इज क्लैरिफाइड देन वील मूव आई टू द नेक्स्ट रूल सेवेंथ रूल वट सेवेंथ रूल इज सेइंग डिडक्ट अन रियलाइज प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम कंसॉलिडेटेड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस एंड कंसॉलिडेटेड स्टॉक अमाउंट डिडक्ट अन रियलाइज प्रॉफिट नाउ प्रॉब्लम इज वेयर प्रॉब्लम इज इन अन रियलाइज ओनली Realize profit. That means you have realized. You have got that profit. That is in your hand. By selling goods, you will get that profit. You're selling some something to someone. That is what you realize profit. If you are selling to yourself, then that is not realize. How you can pay profit to you only? Not possible. That is unrealized profit. And by selling goods to outsider, that is realize. A who if holding sales goods to the subsidiary. That means if holding sales goods to himself hmm? itself we will say holding sale to itself then my dear students holding will not get any profit in the subsidiary in subsidiary you will find holding only hmm? who is the owner of subsidiary holding only in that case uh, holding cannot record that unrealized profit in consolidated balance sheet therefore in a cons from consolidated balance sheet your duty is to remove that consolidated unrealized profit how to calculate that unrealized profit we will learn but just remember here you must remove wherever that consolidated profit is that consolidated profit is in profit and loss account okay in net profit you will find that somewhere consolidated unrealized profit therefore from that profit and loss remove unrealized profit plus you will find that in stock whose stock subsidiary stock you have sold goods from your stock that has gone to sales account and then from sales account in profit and loss and then uh, you from your sales account that has become gone to the purchase account of subsidiary and then not sold by subsidiary that means that is there in the stock of subsidiary That means that छुपा हुआ है वो अपना चूहा किधर closing stock में तो closing stock के subsidiary से इधर consolidation में हम stock का stock में add कर ही लेते हैं तो उसी consolidated stock से आपको उस चूहे को निकालना पड़ेगा unrealized profit क्या और वो profit ही है इसलिए profit and loss से उसको हम निकाल देंगे दो places से निकाल ना होगा तो ये आपके rule सब समझ में आए होंगे तो हम क्या करेंगे अभी ये प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करेंगे इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्रॉब्लम नाइसली देन माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू विल गेट वेरी गुड मार्क्स इन एग्जाम बिकॉज लाइक दिस ओनली यू कुड गेट प्रॉब्लम इन एग्जाम मूविंग अहेड टूअर्ड द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम Uh, first try to understand the format for solving consolidated consolidation problem you required a full format just you cannot make the consolidated balance sheet because we have marks as well for notes working notes here correct now which working notes we require then here we require note for share holding pattern first let's very clearly understand only few notes only five notes we are having 
yes for every problem one or two extra if you want you can make but here five compulsory notes now first note is what share holding pattern share holding pattern that means what how much is your holding in subsidiary आपने कितना शेयर परचेस किया है सब्सिडरी में ये आपको लिखना पड़ेगा इस नोट में नंबर्स लिखेंगे और परसेंटेज में भी लिखेंगे हाउ मच यू हैव परचेस्ड इन फॉर्म ऑफ परसेंटेज इफ हंड्रेड शेयर्स आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड इफ यू परचेस एटी दैट मींस यू हैव परचेस हियर एटी परसेंट शेयर्स दैट इज एक्सपेक्टेड हियर इन शेयर होल्डिंग पैटर्न एंड देन वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग यू विल राइट हियर इन दिस नोट वट इज दैट will write the balance with minority in percentage as well as in number how much you have purchased out of total total you have purchased and then how much with the minority everything in number as well as in percentage you will find in share holding pattern hmm? that is this is the pattern this is summary of what uh, holding correct then after this we will do the analysis of profit and loss analysis of profit and loss that means what whose analysis first try to understand this is related to first note is related to what this first note is related to subsidiary second note is also related to whom subsidiary third one is related also to subsidiary and then fourth and then fifth is more related to Holding. Here you will find khichadi combination of holding as well. Some figure we will uh, find will come here from subsidiary balance sheet, from some from holdings balance sheet, and then after that, in last note you will find figures only from correct. Now first note understood. Then, my dear students, we have second note, second analysis of profit and loss. Analysis, whose analysis? This is dedicated for subsidiary only, of subsidiary, subsidiary's profit and loss. We'll analyze, and then after analyzing subsidiary's profit and loss, uh, subsidiary's profit and loss in profit and loss that means total reserve and surplus. In that, we'll find general reserve, then revenue profit, then capital profit. and then under valuation over valuation will understand correct uh, then as i said minority interest in minority interest capital and then everything you will find will add correct how to uh, draw you know you will and correct one two two columns and one here extra column for pre uh, or the capital profit and then cost of control cost of control market value or sales value of investment from that we will deduct what Uh, the cost of investment that means paid off value cost means the paid off value of share plus the capital profit and then finally we will calculate the consolidated profit and loss that means your profit and loss plus the profit and loss which you have received from subsidiary and then after that we will make the consolidated balance sheet consolidated balance sheet in that equity and liabilities share holding fund then non current and current and then asset you will find fixed assets Uh, that means non current and then after that the current fixed asset is also part of your non current okay this is this is what the format of consolidation Okay, should we start? This is the first problem. I already taken this problem in regular class. Now just read the problem. On first October two thousand fifteen, S Limited purchased five thousand five hundred shares of rupees ten each, fully paid in W Limited at rupees ten each. That means we have purchased ten का share ten rupees में purchase कर लिया है. किसने किस में share purchase कर लिया? S Limited purchased the shares in W Limited. Therefore, S Limited is our holding company. This is our holding company, and then W Limited is our subsidiary company. Correct, holding and subsidiary. S is our holding, W is our subsidiary. Holding company purchased five thousand five hundred shares in the subsidiary company. 
at that time it was estimated that tangible assets and liabilities of w might be taken at book valuation except the building which were undervalued by rupees 25000 yani consolidation jab hua tab assets and liabilities at actual values mein likhe gaye except building building ka kya hua building dhyan mein aaya us samay thoda undervalued hai thoda kam likha hua hai to usko hum theek karke likhenge बाकी का जो एसेट्स एंड लायबिलिटीज है ना वो करेक्टली लिखा हुआ है उसको हम कुछ चेंज नहीं करेंगे सिर्फ लाइन बाय लाइन एडिशन करते जाएंगे मगर ये बिल्डिंग का लाइन बाय लाइन एडिशन होगा तब उसको रेक्टिफाई भी करेंगे 25000 से उसको इंक्रीज करेंगे करेक्ट अमाउंट में उसको लिखेंगे करेक्ट अंडरस्टूड द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस जनरली यू विल नॉट गेट दिस सेंटेंस इन एग्जाम अंडर वैल्यूएशन ओवर वैल्यूएशन डायरेक्टली यू विल गेट जनरली यू टेक uh, assets and liabilities of the subsidiary at book value only. Okay. You do not change their values. Therefore, we will find in other problems just the addition, not this sentence. Understood? Then after that, each company prepare balance sheets as on 31st 3, 2016, which can be considered as follows. Now, in balance sheet, you will find share capital, general reserve on 1415, 1415 that means what opening general reserve is given, then bills payable given, creditors given, then profit and loss on 14 is given and profit and loss for the year also given, correct opening as well as for the year. Generally in regular balance sheet you will find only closing figures, closing figures, correct year opening plus during the years figures are given opening plus during the year's figure is given therefore what we'll do we will add opening plus during to get the closing but we do not require closing only in what solution therefore no need to add okay but you must understand generally we get closing figures in balance sheet but this is an exceptional problem in this problem they have given opening plus during that means in other words they have given closing figures only if you do not write closing then you will not find your balance sheet in tablet form correct mm, to write closing they have just bifurcated and written correct ok then after that on the asset side you will find some regular asset like building sundry asset debtors then his investment investment uh, of W limited is sorry of S limited in W limited holding company in invest, uh, invested in subsidiary company then stock and bills receivable simple balance sheet is very simple and then after that some other information intercompany let it be that is related to intercompany or unrealized profit will dealt with in consolidated balance sheet. Now, what they are saying, debtors included 5000 due from W. This is what intercompany owing, ICO, intercompany owings. Then included in the stock of goods 10,000, which were supplied by S at cost plus 25 percent. Cost plus what? 20, cost plus generally we had a profit margin. That means this is your profit. Stock included this profit margin, that is profit margin, and W stock, which were supplied by S Limited holding ne diya hua tha W ko or W ke stock me wo hi pada hai, yani wo profit holding ka kya ho gaya? Unrealized ho gaya. Holding ne subsidiary ko becha, subsidiary ne ko दूसरे पर्सन को थर्ड पार्टी को बेच दिया तो यह क्या बन जाएगा रियलाइज बन जाएगा करेक्ट है याने इसका मतलब हो जाएगा कि होल्डिंग ने डायरेक्टली सेल किया है कस्टमर को कस्टमर को दिया है एक बी सी यू नो ना ऑलरेडी वी हैव अंडरस्टूड नाउ हियर अनरियलाइज देन अनरियल दिस इज अनरियलाइज अनरियलाइज प्रॉफिट adjustment and then bills payable represented 15,000 what is this this is intercompany owing adjustment only one or two adjustments are there and then after that they are saying us to prepare consolidated balance sheet now some here but now we'll prepare then consolidated balance sheet if you follow the notes working notes then you will get correct consolidated balance sheet just follow me within next 20 minutes 
we will complete this consolidation. First note, whatever they are asking, search in the problem and write that in front of your question, wherever they have asked. Correct. Then start. Now, first they have asked us to write in shareholding pattern total number of shares of subsidiary. Read and then write total number of shares. Number we are we required numbers. Total number of shares of subsidiary. Subsidiary that means W is our subsidiary. Subsidiary ke shares in numbers me chahiye. Ye to subsidiary ka share ka amount ho gaya. Humko chahiye numbers. Number of shares. Then how to convert number into amount? Amount into number that you know. 60,000 and per share 10 rupees. 60,000 divided by 10, you will get 6,000 shares. Therefore, write this 6,000 shares. 6,000 shares. Total always means 100 percent. No need to tell. Total 100 percent marks. 100. Then share purchased by holding in subsidiary company. How many shares you have purchased? How many shares? Numbers. 5,500 shares. You will get this here here in the investment or somewhere in the additional information. Now, here that is not given on the balance sheet under investment, but given in the information from that you will get 5500 shares. And then how many shares balance with minority? Always you can calculate like this total numbers divided minus share purchased by holding in subsidiary 6000 minus 5500 that means 500 shares are with with whom? with minority. Now, you can do this calculation 5500 divided by 6000 into 100. Now, let us say can you calculate you I think so I will use my calculator you can also use 5500 divided by 6000 into 100 91.67 percent. 91.6667 percent and then therefore minus 100 you will get 8.333 percent correct then second note in second note our target is to do the analysis of profit and loss and general reserve but before doing this analysis to of whom subsidiary therefore while writing any figure of this note, you should focus on only subsidiaries balance sheet. Do not look at the holdings balance sheet. Any figure of holding, do not look at. And then, yes, before starting this, what I said, just do one thing. Divide your columns, three columns into two parts, that is pre and post. Pre, that means what? Before date of acquisition. Post means after date of acquisition. Your date of acquisition here is 1st October, 1st October, where is that? You will get here somewhere on 1st October you have purchased, this is your date of acquisition. On 1st October, before 1st October, that means 1, 4 to 1, 10 and after 1st of October, that means 1, 10 to 31st 3. Your financial year starts, first date to date of acquisition and date of acquisition to your last date of financial year. Now, how many months then in pre? 1, 4 to 1, 10, 6 months and here in a post 6 months. Therefore, your ratio it becomes 6 is to 6, that is 1 is to 1. In between pre and post, why we are writing date? Just to get the ratio. Ratio of whom? Ratio of what? Pre is to post, 1 is to 1. Target is over, that date use is over. Then what do we write in this note? We write 2 profit and loss. Two general two reserves, correct general reserves, and then one undervaluation or uh, overvaluation of what fixed assets. Two profit and loss. One is of opening, uh, another is of during. General two general reserves. One is of opening, another of during, and then revaluation of assets or liabilities. Now opening profit and loss. Do we have opening profit and loss? Have they given? Yes, they have given. How much? Eight thousand. Now, what I said only now, just scratch it. We we do not require right now for analysis of profit and loss. We just have to focus here on the W Limited subsidiary opening. That means on one four, one four. Now before one ten, 
one four is before one ten. Therefore, one four uh, opening is in pre column, not in the post. Always opening opening figures as well as under valuation or valuation in pre column only, capital column only. Where do we write opening and under valuation or valuation in pre column only? Therefore, write that in a pre column. Pre how much opening profit and loss eight thousand. Therefore, eight thousand in a pre. Then profit. Then general is our opening also. Opening opening first right. Then we will see during later on. Opening general is our. Do we have opening? Yes, we have six thousand here. Eight thousand. Opening six thousand written right. Then six thousand. Then my dear son, profit for uh, one more under valuation over valuation. That is also where in pre column under valuation under valuation here under valuation of building. Building, therefore, here just write add plus related to building, and then under valuation of twenty five. That means what you must add twenty five. You must increase building by twenty five. If you are increasing, that means what positive figure. If you are decreasing, then negative figure. You are increasing. You have to increase. Come हो गया है. Come चु गलत है तो उसको बढ़ाना पड़ेगा twenty five thousand. Correct. Now opening pre column is over. Now after that during years, during years profit and loss, इतना ही आएगा exam में भी और जो actual practice में भी दो opening रहेगा, दो during का रहेगा और under valuation over valuation रहेगा. Dividend वाला आपको इस case नहीं proposed dividend ये वो कुछ नहीं है. Correct है upstream वाला कुछ नहीं है. इतना simple है आपको S Y में. वो भी रहता है तो अगले सेशन में हम उसको कवर करेंगे डिफिकल्ट भी रहेगा आपको इन डेप्थ स्टडी करना है नेक्स्ट सेशन ड्यूरिंग ड्यूरिंग इयर्स ड्यूरिंग इयर्स प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस ड्यूरिंग इयर्स डू वी हैव ड्यूरिंग इयर्स प्रॉफिट यस वी हैव ड्यूरिंग इयर्स प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस हाउ मच 12000 इफ ड्यूरिंग देन यूज रेशियो इफ ओपनिंग डोंट यूज रेशियो स्ट्रेट अवे राइट इन ओपनिंग कॉलम ड्यूरिंग यूज रेशियो देन रेशियो फॉर व्हाट ड्यूरिंग अमाउंट ड्यूरिंग अमाउंट 12000 रेशियो इज 1:1 Now twelve during year profit for the year, na during year twelve thousand ratio one is to one. That means what? Uh, one is to one twelve thousand six thousand six thousand. What is this profit and loss? Six thousand in a pre and six thousand in a post. What we are writing profit and loss there for in a profit and loss column six thousand six thousand. Correct. Then during year general user, do you have any information about during year general user? We don't have that. Therefore, that will not. Come here, over then only this much. Over, बाकी का कुछ है ही नहीं, आएगा भी नहीं. Correct है. तो उसका आपको सिर्फ क्या करना होगा? Total करना पड़ेगा. Six six twelve plus eight twenty and then here forty five thousand. And then after that six thousand here. Then after the dash here. This is what this is your total. And then then divide this total into two parts. Holdings share and then minority minority interest. How much holding share? You already calculated ninety one point six six six. No need to write here because we already written here. It's just to because this is first problem. You will understand eight point three 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 something. Correct. And then forty five thousand into if you Do the calculation. Forty-five into ninety-one point six 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 seven percentage. What had happened? Calculator. Forty-five thousand into let's say ninety-one percent. Ninety-one point. Point nine six 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 seven. Forty one thousand two fifty. Forty one two five zero. Less is equal to you will get three seven five zero. Three seven five zero, and then six thousand into ninety one point six 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 seven. Five thousand five hundred, and then five hundred. Any difficulty? 
and then after that you required one figure of a minority only one figure of a minority and nine minority means share capital of minority plus their capital and all capital profit of minority profit and loss generally all three you will get here only above this you have all three pre means capital profit and loss and general reason all three just copy and paste it here now three seven a full minority line this line of minority three seven three seven five zero five hundred and dash correct and then my dear students here one more figure of a share capital you require the first figure from first note you will get here the first figure minority we required minority therefore minority in minority this line 500 but 500 in number form we cannot write number in amount column therefore convert 500 into amount now 10 each is into 10 500 into 10 5000 like this you will get the total amount 5000 plus 3 something you will get now just do the calculation 5000 plus 3750 plus 500 929250 you will get correct and then after that market value or sale value of investment market value of sale value of investment that always we will get from asset side of the holding company होल्डिंग कंपनी अभी हमको क्या करना पड़ेगा होल्डिंग कंपनी का बैलेंस शीट भी देखना पड़ेगा तो होल्डिंग कंपनी के बैलेंस शीट में इन्वेस्टमेंट का वैल्यू कितना दिया है मार्केट वैल्यू वन लाख टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज इस नोट में होल्डिंग का बैलेंस शीट देखो ही मत करेक्ट है इसमें भी देखने की कुछ जरूरत नहीं है करेक्ट है मगर ये कॉस्ट ऑफ कंट्रोल में आपको देखना पड़ेगा उसका मार्केट वैल्यू वन लाख टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज स्टेट अवे राइट दैट मार्केट वैल्यू इन आउटर कॉलम डोंट राइट एनी आउटर एंड देन फ्रॉम दैट डिडक्ट cost of investment cost of investment what is that cost of investment cost means just the total of share capital plus the capital profit share capital share capital share capital is how much share capital of whom and how much what is the share capital the 60000 do i require no in 60 you will find two parts holding share and minority interest now likewise you have written share capital of a minority from first note here also you require share capital then why not first note this information also from first note here from first note you will get holdings company share this holding line 5500 but 5500 in what number form convert it into amount form per share value you know 10 rupees and where to write in inner column write down 5500 into 10 that means 55000 rupees and then capital profit of a holding कैपिटल प्रॉफिट ये आपको प्रॉफिट इधर प्रॉफिट चाहिए था कैपिटल प्रॉफिट तो हमने सेकंड नोट का हेल्प लिया इधर भी हमको चाहिए कैपिटल तो किसका हेल्प लेना पड़ेगा सेकंड ही नोट का हेल्प लेना पड़ेगा तो कैपिटल प्रॉफिट यानी कैपिटल प्रॉफिट का कॉलम और किसका कैपिटल प्रॉफिट दिस ऑल रिलेटेड टू होल्डिंग कंपनी देर होल्डिंग कंपनी का कैपिटल प्रॉफिट हमको चाहिए होल्डिंग कंपनी और उसका कैपिटल प्रॉफिट तो जो ये भूलो मत इसको टिक करना पड़ेगा ये कैपिटल फोर्टी Forty one thousand two five zero forty one two fifty. Understood? Then uh, transfer this to an outer column two five zero six nine ninety six thousand two fifty, and then one lakh ten thousand minus ninety six two five two two five zero. You will get thirteen thousand positive or negative. You will get the positive. Bigger amount, and from that you are directing smaller thirteen thousand seven five zero smaller, and that is positive amount, correct? Uh, thirteen thousand seven fifty. What is this? If positive, as I said, goodwill. If negative, then capital reserve. This is goodwill. Then consolidated profit and loss. Just follow the notes, follow the sequence. You will get your final balance sheet in tallied form. Believe me, correct? It's very simple. Then, then profit and loss of holding, consolidated profit and loss. Do you know principle also, rule also? While learning rule, I said your profit and loss plus whatever you are receiving from subsidiary that we write. Your profit and loss, what is your profit and loss? Your profit and loss, that means holding, you are holding your profit and loss. Profit and loss, we have written instead of one figure, two figures, both are profit and loss. You are in your account, two figures, add two or show those two figures here in particulars and write final figure in outer 25 plus 40 yours is 40 plus 25 65,000 correct and profit and loss 
received from subsidiary holding uh, how much holding received from subsidiary profit and loss this amount holding share from profit and loss uh, from subsidiary 5500 you have received and 5500 and then you will get the consolidated profit 65 plus 5 70000 plus 500 this is total and then my dear students will move ahead for the final part of the consolidation holding and subsidiary that is what consolidated balance sheet consolidated balance sheet first what equity and liabilities in that shareholders fund shareholders fund shareholder fund that in that share capital share capital now share capital of what as i said here first principle now uh, try to remember the rules the first rule Ignore this one lakh ten thousand. Ignore करेंगे. अभी मैं थोड़ा सा rules follow कर रहे हैं तो दूसरा पेन ले लूँगा तो आपको ध्यान में आएगा. तो rule में हम क्या करेंगे? अभी हमको first rule के मुताबिक ये ignore करना पड़ेगा, ये ignore करना पड़ेगा और लिखना पड़ेगा. Second rule कौन सा था? Owings का. तो owings का देखेंगे हम. मगर पहले ये share capital का related था इसलिए उसको ignore किया. Share capital. Share capital or investment. ये छोड़ के अभी share capital चाहिए. Line by line addition होगा consolidation में. Two lakhs plus zero. You will get here in share capital two lakhs. Correct. And then in reserve and surplus. In reserve and surplus you will find general reserve plus you will find profit and loss. Correct. Reserve and surplus. General reserve. General reserve कौन सा? General reserve. ये रिजर्व है ना सिक्स थाउजेंड का ये हमने लिखा है एनालिसिस में ये भी लिखा है ये भी लिखा है एनालिसिस में लिख लिया है इसका एनालिसिस होके फाइनल फिगर किधर तो गया भी है तो वो फिर नहीं आएगा वो फिर नहीं आएगा तो ये जाएगा यानी यू हैव टू इग्नोर शेयर होल्डिंग वील से इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ होल्डिंग इन सब्सिडरी एज वेल एज शेयर कैपिटल ऑफ द subsidiary plus general reserve of subsidiary plus profit and loss of subsidiary three things you must ignore of the share capital general reserve profit and loss of subsidiary ye ye chhod ko ye chhod dena padega fir us uske baad mein general reserve general reserve ye chhodne ke baad hamare paas sirf bacha 50000 ka reserve to 50000 rupees general reserve ye chhodna hai to 50000 my dear students what we will do we will extend that rule we will say that what you told now here i will extend this rule then you will understand clearly ignore holding company's investment in subsidiary and share capital of subsidiary and profit and loss and so many ands we will find and general reserve of of subsidiary understood you will say that abhi tak to samaj a raha tha apne ye kya kar diya my dear student kuch nahi kar diya first rule mein thoda extension kar diya ye ye humne ignore karke abhi likh rahe hai to profit and loss general reserve likh liya 50,000 plus zero 50,000 phir profit and loss ka ye ignore ho gaya ये दो अमाउंट इधर आ जाएगी मगर ये दो अमाउंट इधर से नहीं लेंगे 25,000 20 40,000 इधर से नहीं आएगा बैलेंस शीट से प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस नहीं आएगा तो प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस किधर से आएगा प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस फॉर दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर्ड सेपरेट नोट इफ यू राइट फ्रॉम बैलेंस शीट देन व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस नोट करेक्ट देयरफॉर राइट दिस फ्रॉम नोट ओनली व्हाई यू आर वेस्टिंग टाइम अगेन इन कैलकुलेटिंग कंसोलिडेटेड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस करेक्ट this 70,500 just copy 70,500 then then write 70,500 that means profit and loss may jo aega o kudar se aega and working note se aega 70,500 then after that minority interest we already calculated just copy that amount minority interest 9,250 always write on the liability we are writing 9,250 only one amount 9,250 then current liabilities in that current liabilities we have already written share capital, then general reserve, bills payable not yet written, profit and loss, this is over. Then bills payable, this is part of what? Bills. 
मैन वी है एडजस्टमेंट रिलेटेड टू दिस एडजस्टमेंट का थोड़ा सा स्पेस मैनेजमेंट भी करना पड़ेगा वी है एडजस्टमेंट फॉर हियर यू नो बिल्स पेएबल प्लस वी है एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ डेटर्स एंड क्रिएटर्स तो इसको है ना थोड़ा एड प्लस स्पेस स्टार स्टार यानी छोड़ना पड़ेगा थोड़ा सा लाइन इधर बिल्स पेएबल बिल्स पेएबल का क्या जस्ट एड बिल्स पेएबल इन बिल्स पेएबल ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड प्लस जीरो ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड प्लस जीरो जस्ट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड यू विल फाइंड इन बिल्स पेएबल क्रिएटर्स एड क्रिएटर्स इन क्रिएटर्स ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस फोर्टी ट्वेंटी इग्नोर कुछ नहीं करना है एडजस्टमेंट बाद में देखेंगे यस जस्ट एड दिस इन दिस एज पर फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लस थ्री अमाउंट शेयर कैपिटल जनरल रिजर्व प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस वो छोड़ के सब आपको लाइन बाय लाइन एडिशन करना है ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड प्लस फोर्टी थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी प्लस फोर्टी सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड का सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड देन आफ्टर दिस नेक्स्ट वर्ड दिस इज ओवर दिस इज ओवर लाइबिलिटी साइड इज ओवर नाउ एसेट साइड देन एसेट साइड में टेंजिबल इन टेंजिबल वी हैव बिल्डिंग एंड इन बिल्डिंग एडजस्टमेंट बिकॉज बिल्डिंग इज अंडर वैल्यूड देर फॉर स्टार फॉर दिस एडजस्टमेंट वी हैव डेटर्स का भी एडजस्टमेंट है बिल्स पेबल का भी एडजस्टमेंट जिसका एडजस्टमेंट है स्टॉक का भी एडजस्टमेंट है अनरियलाइज प्रॉफिट एंड देन हियर प्रॉफिट का भी एडजस्टमेंट है दिस प्रॉफिट का प्रॉफिट का एडजस्टमेंट छोड़ के लगा वट विल डू विल राइट दिस फिफ्टी डायरेक्टली हियर एडजस्टमेंट जब प्रॉब्लम हम पढ़ेंगे ना वही स्टार देंगे अभी कुछ कंफ्यूजन नहीं होगा फिर समझ आ रहा है आई एम नॉट डूइंग एनी थिंग इन कंसल्टेशन जस्ट आई एम एडिंग बाई फॉलोइंग रूल्स आई हैव जस्ट फॉलोड द फर्स्ट रूल फर्स्ट रूल इन्वेस्टमेंट का वैल्यू और लाइबिलिटी साइड से सब्सिडरी के बैलेंस शीट से थ्री वैल्यू मैंने इग्नोर कर दिया और बाकी का सिर्फ लाइन बाई लाइन एडिशन कर रहा हूँ और जो माइनॉरिटी वगैरह बैलेंस शीट में नहीं था वो डायरेक्टली नोट से ले रहा हो प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस बैलेंस शीट में था मगर हमने कैलकुलेट करके रखा हुआ है इसलिए वो किधर से आया नोट से आया नोट से जो जो हम लिख सकते हैं वो लिखेंगे वो फिगर नहीं है तो बैलेंस शीट का फिगर लिखेंगे करेक्ट है अंडरस्टूड नाउ नाउ अगेन बिल्डिंग 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 इन बिल्डिंग लाइन बाई लाइन एडिशन वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड प्लस सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू लैख फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड प्लस दैट ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड नाउ डू द कैलकुलेशन ऑन कैलकुलेटर वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड प्लस सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड यूल से फ्रॉम वेयर ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दैट अंडर वैल्यूड ओवर वैल्यूड ना रिलेटेड टू बिल्डिंग वी आर अंडर वैल्यूड वी ऑलरेडी डिसाइडेड टू एड अंडर वैल्यूड बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड बिफोर दैट वी आर हैविंग टू लैक्स फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड टू लैक्स फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड प्लस दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू लैक्स फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज and then sundry assets no adjustment straight away line by line addition 50 plus 11 61000 61000 thousand. Thousand. kuch nahi hai exam mein kuch nahi aata hai to jo seedha ek line mein hai seedha samne wala usko add karke dekho consolidated asset in asset building in building debtors in debtors consolidated bana ke aao sundry assets then what then shares in w limited wo chhodna hai फिर स्टॉक स्टॉक इज द पार्ट ऑफ करंट एसेट विल राइट स्टॉक हियर स्टॉक एंड एडजस्टमेंट्स रिलेटेड टू स्टॉक देयर फॉर इन पर्टिकुलर कॉलम ओनली स्टॉक का अमाउंट देखो स्टॉक का अमाउंट है इधर थोड़ा सा ऊपर आया है थर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज स्टॉक का अमाउंट है फिफ्टी वन लाइन ओके देन देन आफ्टर दैट वी हैव डेटर्स 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 भी करंट एसेट का पार्ट है तो डेटर्स ट्वेंटी प्लस फिफ्टीन थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड adjustment then then after that the shares shares ignore we, why you know stock return bills receivable bills receivable is also part of what current asset bills receivable 0 plus 15000 15000 and then dash jiska jiska adjustment hai uska space management karo ek line chhod ke next wala item likho kuch bhi nahi hai balance sheet pura ho gaya kuch chhod mat de ho hmm dekhi complete the balance sheet just follow the rules and complete the consolidation addition understood now then next next what adjustments 
Now on a first uh, October we have purchased these many shares and all we have already dealt with. Then my dear students after that it was estimated tangible assets and liabilities all other assets we have written at book value and building uh, undervalued and that effect also given in the consolidated as well as in analysis two effects we have already given in the analysis and then second one is in the balance sheet that means this part is over this adjustment minimum two effects we have already given. Then prepare the uh, balance sheet balance sheet is already over just now we have fitted somewhere in the consolidated. Then after this balance sheet some more information or adjustments debtors of W included 5000 debtors of W included 5000 due from W intercompany. Job intercompany hai aapko pata chalta hai if you understand by reading that this is intercompany then straight away do one thing deduct it from both the sides of balance sheet related debtors related to that creditors you know remember then bills receivable related to that bills payable from name you will understand then loan given loan taken only these exam few examples just remember the only one if you get one name then no need to tell you another name debtors you must deduct, deduct. how much given 5000 from debtors deduct ico 5000 and then no need to you why you required help of god for this related to debtors you know intercompany is owing this creditors 5000 from creditors also deduct less here ico no need to give you from asset if you are deducted from debtor from creditor from liability you must deduct subsequently phi from creditors understood here 60 and then after deducting here you will get 30 एक ही नाम पता देगे वो डेटर्स वो नहीं बोलेंगे क्रेटर्स ले लो कि इसके रिलेटेड ही है आपको सोचना पड़ेगा व्हाट इज रिलेटेड टू डेटर्स रिलेटेड टू डेटर्स वी हैव क्रेटर्स देन राइट दैट क्रेटर्स करेक्ट ना इन दैट क्रेटर्स फ्रॉम दैट क्रेटर्स डिडक्ट देन देन आफ्टर दैट सिमिलरली वी हैव इंटर कंपनी ओइंग इंटर कंपनी इंटर देन विल से अनरियलाइज सिमिलरली व्हाट बिल्स पेएबल इंटर कंपनी देयरफॉर फ्रॉम बिल्स पेएबल इंटर कंपनी bills payable ico intercompany how much intercompany given 15000 intercompany 15 20 minus 15 5000 then balance and then similarly here from bills receivable ico intercompany 15 related to this we have 15 15 minus 15 you will find here 0 and then after that here uh, we have already written 5 this is over this is only one adjustment of what unrealized profit unrealized profit deduct karna padega yes from a total unrealized profit uh, total consolidated profit or and uh, stock total consolidated stocks to pehle calculate karo the stock of w limited are the goods uh, included in the stock of w limited are the goods of 10000 then 10000 goods hai na wo stock mein hai स्टॉक में है यानी क्या है किसी ने बेचा है इसलिए वो स्टॉक में है करेक्ट है यानी किसी ने बेचा है दैट मींस सेल्स प्राइस कितने का है जिसने 10000 को बेचा था 10000 स्टॉक में है 10000 रुपीस गुड्स व्हिच आर देयर इन स्टॉक सेल्स प्राइस इज 10000 व्हिच वेयर सप्लाइड बाय होल्डिंग लिमिटेड होल्डिंग कंपनी एस लिमिटेड एट कॉस्ट प्लस 25% कॉस्ट प्लस 25% प्रॉफिट यस ऐसा वो हुआ है तो क्या करना पड़ेगा आपको एक इक्वेशन बनाना पड़ेगा यानी कॉस्ट प्लस 25 परसेंट ऑन कॉस्ट करेक्ट ना प्रॉफिट कॉस्ट प्लस 25 परसेंट डेट मींस 25 परसेंट ऑन कॉस्ट करेक्ट ना कॉस्ट के ऊपर 25 परसेंट देवरफॉर एज्यूम डेट कॉस्ट इज़ इक्वल टू 100 कॉस्ट के ऊपर 25 है तो कॉस्ट आपको 100 ए assume that cost is equal to 100 therefore profit at 25 percent of 100 is equal to 25 therefore sales price cost plus profit you know this formula sales price is equal to what cost plus profit 125 okay then in a simple equation form we'll write cost plus profit is equal to sales price okay then profit below profit right profit then cost 
below cost right cost 100 cost we have just right here and sales price 125 this is uh, this is what assumption line with this compare actual information and get required information actual information which actual information 10000 this we have therefore below sales price write down sales price and what do you want you want profit therefore below profit uh, give question mark and then use cross multiplication logic to get the unrealized profit 10000 here we have upstream and downstream concept but right now no need to confuse you you will definitely understand in the next lecture 10000 into 25 two figures at a numerator and one figure at a denominator divided by 125 you will get 10000 2000 rupees unrealized profit 2000 therefore do one thing 2000 rupees unrealized profit deduct it from consolidated profit and loss here unrealized profit up up ho gaya 2000 and here uh, from stock up ho gaya 2000 now do one thing you will get do calculation 70560 68500 and then here 248000 rupees over all the adjustments are over congratulations now we have completed now just what within one and a half hour we have completed this uh, we will complete i think so uh, share capital and then b share holding fund a plus b that means 2 lakhs plus 50 plus 68 uh, 2 lakhs 50000 plus 68500 3 lakhs 18500 3 lakhs 18500 3 lakhs 18500 then after that minority interest we already done and then transfer this current liability total in outer column 65000 and then you will get total liabilities plus we will say 65000 3 lakhs 83,500 before doing the totals you must check whether we have written all the figures or not here from the notes if you do not write these are what numbers these are what numbers no need to write in the consolidated balance sheet because in balance sheet you will find only amounts these figures we have already written minorities ka line minority likha tha ye bhi likha hai ye bhi amount humne likha hai ye goodwill ka amount nahi likha 13,750 ये भी हमने लिखा है किधर तो तो 13,750 गुडविल देखो गुडविल वेयर विल राइट विल राइट गुडविल इन इंटेंजिबल एसेट्स गुडविल 13,000 13,750 इफ यू हैव रिटन ऑल देन नो नीड टू राइट इट अगेन इफ नॉट देन राइट इट बिफोर टेकिंग द टोटल्स अदरवाइज वी विल गेट रॉन्ग टोटल देन देन आफ्टर दैट हियर इन द टेंजिबल एंड इंटेंजिबल दैट मींस इन अ फिक्स एसेट कैटेगरी 240,000 plus 61000 plus 13750 that means 3 lakhs 14750 total plus now non current we don't have anything plus we'll say 48000 and here 30000 78000 rupees 78000 and then you will get the total 78 in that original 314750 okay how much is total your 392000 something uh, 314750 plus 78000 rupees where is calculator 314750 plus 78000 let let 392750 but here we have got 
no uh, uh, 83 now i think so we have not taken total correctly calculator i must bring i am using what this keyboard 3 lakhs 18500 plus 9250 plus 65000 okay we we have forgot to consider this now total is correct 3 lakhs 92000 3 lakhs 92750 and now if you compare liability total with asset total you will get the same total 927 3 lakhs 92750 that means our balance sheet is tallied consolidated balance sheet is over understood what is consolidation it's very simple within one minute we will revise consolidation means what control when uh, control is possible if you purchase more than 50 then control uh, comp control in composition of board of director and third abc case now no need to identify whether consolidation is there or not in exam because if only consolidation you will get the problem okay and then after getting that problem uh, follow the rules of the consolidation before that what prepare the notes only five notes first share holding pattern analysis of profit and loss minority interest cost of control and then consolidated profit and loss and then consolidated balance sheet now follow the sequence one by one all the notes share holding pattern usme kya likhte kitna shares purchase kiya in numbers and in percentage aapne kitna kiya aur minority ke paas bacha kitna just we write that and in analysis we write what profit and loss general reserve of the subsidiary <coughs> we analyze the subsidiaries all these things we divide pre in and then post pre means before acquisition post means after acquisition isme kya aayega do profit and loss do general reserve ek under valuation over valuation to jo jo figures aur isme kya opening uh, and under valuation revaluation in pre column and during in two columns with the help of ratio ratio how to calculate you know before how many months after how many months and then you will get the total divide that total into holding as well as minority and then minority is note in minority is over their capital plus all the figures whatever you have written in analysis we write that in minority then you will get the total of minority then after that the cost of control cost of control market value me se cost minus karo market value balance sheet ke le lo market value or sales value of investment cost yani share capital or capital profit शेयर कैपिटल पहले वाले नोट से कैपिटल प्रॉफिट दूसरे वाले नोट से लिखो आउटर में ट्रांसफर करो माइनस करो पॉजिटिव आया गुडविल नेगेटिव आया कैपिटल रिजर्व उसके बाद में कंसोलिडेटेड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस योर प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस प्लस व्हाट एवर यू आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम सब्सिडरी डोंट राइट फ्रॉम दैट बैलेंस शीट यू हैव टू राइट दैट फ्रॉम एनालिसिस फ्रॉम एनालिसिस होल्डिंग शेयर इन द कैपिटल प्रॉफिट फर्स्ट कॉलम एंड होल्डिंग लाइन देयर वेयर दे इंटरसेक्ट दैट फिगर वी राइट uh what in consolidated holding companies profit and loss not the first column second column sorry profit and loss column and then holdings line row where they intersect that amount you have to write in the profit and loss consolidated and then consolidated balance sheet isme se pehla wala rule very important if you follow that rule you will get tallied balance sheet believe me wo rule kya bolta hai sab add karo line by line बिल्डिंग में बिल्डिंग फर्नीचर में फर्नीचर स्टॉक में स्टॉक कैश में कैश सब सब में सब ऐड करो मगर वो ऐड करने से पहले एक आपको इग्नोर करना पड़ेगा पहला वाला रूल्स है वो इन्वेस्टमेंट जो होल्डिंग ने सब्सिडरी में किया था वो और सब्सिडरी का शेयर कैपिटल प्लस सब्सिडरी का जनरल रिजर्व प्लस सब्सिडरी का प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस जो आपने बैलेंस शीट्स में लिखा था वो लिख लिया था एनालिसिस में वो फिर इस कंसोलिडेटेड बैलेंस शीट में मत लिखो अंडरस्टूड एंड देन इंटर कंपनी ओइंग्स डिडक्ट दैट एंड देन कैपिटल प्रॉफिट माइनॉरिटी इंटरेस्ट राइट ऑन द लाइबिलिटी साइड जनरल गुडविल और कैपिटल रिजर्व गुडविल राइट ऑन द इंटेंजिबल एसेट साइड एंड देन कैपिटल रिजर्व इन रिजर्व एंड सर प्लस एंड देन आफ्टर दैट कंसोलिडेटेड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस इन रिजर्व एंड सर प्लस एंड देन इंटर कंपनी ओइंग्स डिडक्ट द Uh, if one from asset another from uh, liability related yes from liability debtors related to that creditors you know and then after doing all the adjustment finally uh, check whether unrealized profit is given if yes consider that and deduct that from both sides of balance sheet correct unrealized profit how to calculate you know check how much sales price is given and then margin 
whether on sales price is given then directly you will get the unrealized profit if on the cost is given then assume cost is equal to 100 calculate margin and then write the assume assumption line and then compare with the actual line calculate you will get total unrealized profit do more practice of calculating unrealized profit deduct that from consolidated profit and loss as well as deduct that from the stock you will get consolidated stock you will get the final figures and then just take the total of liability side as well as asset side my dear students you will get tallied balance sheet thank you very much for your support and cooperation